Well, greetings everybody. Happy New Year. It is officially 2021, January 1st. And Wayne is with me, but he keeps going around the corner where we can't see him here. There he is right down there. We're checking a new spot. And we have found bedrock. And it looks good. It looks good. And it's in a very, very good geological location. And that's all I'm going to say for now. So he's down there test panning. And I just took a spot. We've got an inside bend right here. A lot of the water, when it's really high, is going to be rushing right up against this edge. And the low pressure zone is going to be over here. So I just took a test pan from here. I haven't done anything with it. I started to classify it and decided I'd start shooting a little bit of video. So let's see what we can uh, come up with. We're not going to do much. I don't have much time. i got to get back to the shop. Wayne's got to get back to his store. So we're just here checking stuff out. A lot of bedrock that can be broken up. Of course, a lot of stuff's frozen right now. A lot of cracking to do all the way up through here. Just absolute tasty looking stuff. I probably should test over there too. That tree obviously caused a low pressure zone right in here and of course that bedrock as well. So let's see what we can find. We got a couple other spots we got to look at. Points of interest. So keep you posted. Back in a bit. Alright so Wayne's down in there getting some stock work samples. Ice cold, Joel. <laughs> Ice cold. <laughs> All right. Find out what this is geologically. I want to get up here because basically. A culvert is a sluice box. Oh yeah. So people don't yeah, understand but you, it. They, yeah, they, but you want to be in the, the beginning of it. Well, right there is good too. Nice irony burnt oh, rock. Oh yeah. The, uh, this is a different spot, folks, where I shot the first first time we were somewhere else. But that did test positive. Wayne found a speck and I found two specks. So. And that was above where we wanted to be. All right, enough for now. Well, two more orders. Two more three-foot riverbed hogs. One going to Azusa, California, and one going to Tennessee. Guess who the first person to order in 2021 was? Is HD Shovelhead. Got to be first, right? <laughs> so anyway, today was all about research. Um, scouting and stock work. Stock works is a geological term for finding out what is in the material, um, which will tell you, it tells you quite a bit. I'm learning all of this stuff. I've been wanting to learn geology for quite some time because it just really ups your ante in, uh, in gold prospecting. So that's what this was all about today. I'd like to say that I could, uh, of course, I never tell anybody where I am anyway, which I'm not going to hear. I can't. Um, there's only one person who's been granted the access to come along, and that's Hung. Um, so Jeremy and Adam and, and others that come, I'm, I'm very sorry, but th this is between um, Jeff Slade, the state geologist, and Wayne and myself and Hung, and uh, they just, they, it's, I, I can't bring anybody, so I'm, I'm really sorry. But we did test positive in this first first spot. That's where we did we actually did some samples there. Um, good area with a lot of bedrock, but we were above where we really want to get to. But because it's January first and it's kind of cold, a um, little bit icy, and really nothing for snow up there. But um, we didn't want to get down any further, so we'll just we'll pass on that till next spring or maybe if we get a warm day, providing there's not a lot of snow on the ground. Because if there is, we won't be able to pull off the road. Um, so then the 
other two spots, three spots actually, we went to. We just took stock works and just scouted around a bit. Didn't do any sampling there. Um, but we'll, we'll find out what's there next year for sure. And it's going to be interesting because this is, uh, this could be, it could be extremely hot ground or it could be not hot ground. We'll find out. Um, but it did test positive the first spot. And that's going to be, I think that's going to be our best, our best spot is up there. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that in the spring and doing some work. Um, Jeff, Jeff Slade, the geologist, he's in the backdrop being the geologist, doing, you know, computer work um, with stuff that he has access to. And maybe he'll come every now and then, but he doesn't have a whole lot of time. And then, of course, Wayne, he's kind of busy. So I'm happy to be non nominated the grunt. Um, I'll be the one going and, and, you know, doing most of the work and, and checking and getting the gold. <laughs> but Wayne will come out too, and I'm sure Jeff will as well. So that's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I want to give a shout out to George. He and his wife came today to get the 23 inch pay streak finder that he ordered. Um, great to meet you. I didn't get to meet his wife. She stayed out in the truck, but uh, um, nice little visit, short. Um, so I know you're going to enjoy the 23 inch opposed to the three foot. Your feed rate's going to be much slower, but you're going to be moving a whole lot more material than you normally would the way you've been doing things. And I hope that you. Uh, I hope that you find some good ground and get into some good work. Um, I, I do know he had told me that where he's at, it's literally like shovel, scoop on, shovel, scoop on, and that's the best. When you can get a setup right near where you're working, oh yeah, you can move quite a bit of material, and it ups your take in gold. So I've got to get to work. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Got to get to work. I've got to... 23 inch that uh, I had started and I got the capture tray together the foam seal wall in place and the chain on So now it's time to keep moving along. So catch y'all later. Gotta get to work